These slow downs have got to go. I'm Samita and I'm from Queens, New York, and I have the worst split ends. I really don't use too much heat on my hair, maybe once every two weeks. I try to cut my hair every couple months, and still I get really bad split ends. I actually took things into my own hands and I cut my hair really short, actually like up to here. And even then, that didn't do the trick. I tried using oils and products and they always come back. I'm so excited to find a solution for my split ends because I'm ready for them to be on. Split Ender Pro 2, cordless split end hair trimmer. Snips the ends, not the length. Easier, faster, and safer than scissors. I have no idea how to use this, but it looks really cool. I really hope it works. This device is not intended for daily brushing. Starting at the top, while holding the section of hair with one hand and the Split Ender Pro with the other, slowly comb the hair with the Split Ender Pro all the way to the bottom. Repeat three times per section. Pretty good. It looks like it didn't cut a lot of my hair, but it looks like it directed towards the split ends. So I'm pretty happy about that. How was the split ender for you? Yeah, so when I tried it initially, um, I feel like I was using larger sections. And so it was kind of pulling on my hair when I used the larger sections. But I retried it, and when I was using like way smaller, um, it, uh, honestly, I thought it did a pretty good job. Um, my hair feels like it doesn't have any more split ends. That's good. Uh, yeah, I did the same thing. I tested it in a bigger chunk, and it was hard. So, so when you, do, I know right when you use it, you don't really feel the effects of it. Yeah. Did you wash it and dry it, and then did you feel it? Like, tell me about that. Yeah. Um, so I tried it like a few days apart from each other. So definitely uh, wash, clean, and all that. I think. Um, I think the biggest difference was the smaller sections. I think it was able to really focus on the split ends and do what it's supposed to do. Okay, and Rachel loves when I give a little extra tip here for you. Uh -huh. So here's the thing on split ends. We know they can't be cured. The biggest issue people have is that they don't want to cut their length just like Samita doesn't want to do. And that's why do. your hair won't grow if you keep split ends. So here's what it is. When, when you have a split end and it keeps unraveling the hair and breaking, mm -hmm. you're growing here, but you're never able to get anywhere. Here. Because this keeps getting more and more damaged and keeps mm -hmm. going up the hair shaft because the cuticle's damaged. So if you love that, use that. That'll just trim off those little extra pieces and that is important if you wanna grow your hair. I also have another tip. You highlight your hair, Samita, right? Yes, I okay. do. So when you go to the salon or if you do it at home, try to just color the new growth. When you're someone who tends to get split ends, it isn't always just about the amount of Don't cutting or maintenance. On the ends exactly. Of your hair. If it's already the lightness and the tone you want, then just hit where you need it. It's really totally false, and it's not true that you actually need to bring all that color through. Mm. Just hit here and be done. <laughs>